there'll be times where you've started a song and for whatever reason you may decide that you want to change the tempo and it could be the case that you are you've started to make a boom bap beat around you know 70 or 80 bpm and you decide that actually you're gonna you're gonna transform it into more of a trappy beat where the tempo tends to be even though it sits around maybe between 60 to 65 bpm producers tend to record at double time so it's easier to put in those super fast hi-hats or the snares so if you were to make if you were intending to make a song at say 65 bpm you'd actually record it at 130 so what i've done here is i have a piano piece that's laid down which is actually at 133 which i'll just play quickly From here, you then decide to throw on some hats, as an example. Uh, and as you go through the beat making process, you may you may then decide that actually the the beat's not going to have as many fast hats as you originally envisaged. So you decide that actually maybe to save myself the hassle of creating these extra long patterns because when you're arranging the song you're going to need to have more bars to fulfill a particular measure of a song because everything's going to be twice as fast you can then reduce the tempo back to what it would have been originally so from here half of 163 would be you know around 66 something like that so what we can do is reduce this to 66 And now we have, which is obviously way too slow now. So the hats are easy, you can just do that. But with regards to the piano, what you need to do is you need to go into the piano roll and then ensure that your snap settings have been changed to bar. So you get to your snap settings from here. Oh, sorry, to beat. So make sure that's on beat. Scroll out. Then, if you if you press Control A on the keyboard, if you look if you look around here, you'll notice you have this little this little circle here that I'd never noticed for 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 a while. I've been using FL Studio for a couple of years now, and it's it's something I've only realised recently. What you can do is, if you hold Alt, it will snap the MIDI. So if you just drag like that. So essentially what that's done is it's reduced my two bar eight beat loop to a one bar four beat loop, which is half of the original. So now it sounds as it was at 133 BPM. And there you go. And then you can just copy and paste it over. One other thing you can do, if you don't press Alt, you can you can snap it to where you like. So if you just if you just hold on to left mouse click, you can just drag it however. And as I mentioned earlier, if you wanted to change the snap settings, you can do that and whichever setting you pick will affect how the Alt and left click behaves. If you have any other questions with regards to FL Studio, music production or anything in general, shoot me a comment below and I'll be happy to help.